السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته هذه محاضرة الرابعة بإذن الله وإن شاء الله في هذه المحاضرة سوف نتناول من خلالها بعض من حروف العطف وهي الأثر استخدام إن شاء الله أوكي Back with a new lesson Today's lecture is entitled Conjunctions And here we are going to talk over different types of conjunctions. Let us see what are these different types of conjunctions. First, what is the definition of conjunctions, linking words or transitional words? A conjunction is a word which connects two words or clauses or sentences and shows the relationship between them. They are used to avoid making the text seem like bullet points and to make the text follow uh, flexibly. For example, here we have what an example, Jay or Ali or Ahmed, whosoever, saw a dog on the road. He decided to adopt the dog. Ali or Ahmed or Jay brought the dog home. So here, some breaks are there. There is no coherence. There is no connection between the sentences and the ideas are broken as well. So here, what we need in the second sentence, we can say, Ali or Jay saw a dog on the road and, and here is the conjunction, decided to adopt the dog. So, another conjunction, he brought the dog home. So here we are joining, we have joined the sentences, the ideas all together to connect the ideas all together. Here, and, and so, are conjunctions which are used to join the sentences and show the relation between them. Okay, let us see what is next. Types of conjunction, as we said, we have three common types of conjunctions. First, coordinating conjunctions, Second, subordinating conjunctions. Third, correlative conjunctions. One by one. So we're going to start. We're going to start with coordinating conjunction, and we can observe that as we select this uh, expression from Google, and the copyright is under uh, or below the explanation uh, overview. Here. What do we mean by coordinating conjunctions, by the way? Coordinating, coordinating conjunctions are used to link or join two words or phrases that are equally important and complete in terms of grammar when compared with each other. And the definition is highlighted in the head so we can understand it better. So first, we have four. What do we mean by four? Because. We give a result. Then we want to prove for others. So we give the reason. Here we have example. I told her to leave. For I was very tired because I was very tired. I told you to study hard because the exam will be next month. Or four, the exam will be next month. Okay. The next conjunction, and. In addition to, when you want to ask some information to another, when you, add, you want to complete the idea, when you want to coordinate your ideas one by one, when you want to give numbers of names, of rounds of things, of people. Okay. Here, we have to use and. For example, I like football and what? And I like hockey. Okay. I like reading newspapers and I like reading short stories, for example. I like apple and banana. I like to read, to write, to listen and to speak. When you have different types of uh, 
worse and we want to coordinate them one after the other. Here we have to use comma till the end. Before the last word, we use and. Okay. Nor. Nor means and not. And not. And most of the time we use neither and nor. Okay, we'll come to uh, we'll come to this point later on. But here we have an example. I have neither done the dishes nor the laundry. Okay, nor. Okay. None of them. None of them has been done by me. Okay. So I have neither taught you fanatics nor phonology. I have neither told you to come nor to call me. For example, these are examples. So these navigations, I want to tell you that both, for example, both the ideas are not correct. Both the points shown are not correct. So neither I, uh, I'll neither come nor I'll call you or nor will I call you to be syntactically correct. Okay, but here, but however, it means however, but there are slight differences between these uh, two words, but they can be interchangeable by the way. She is 85, but she still goes swimming every day. Even though she is 85, she is, or she goes every day for swimming. Okay. I studied hard, but the exam is still difficult. But the exam is still difficult. I come to you, but I didn't meet you. So I want to give some proof. I want to talk something, but there is something opposite to what I'm talking about. I call you, I called you last night, but you didn't answer. And so on. There are many examples you can practice in this affair. Or, or either, I will eat either a hamburger or a hot dog. So one of them I will eat. Either one. I will eat either chicken meat or X, for example. I'll either come to you or you have to come to me. So we have one choice. Either to come to either I have to come to you or you have to come to me. Either to study hard or you're gonna fail. Either way. Either to close the window or the wind will go through into your house. Okay, these are, we are giving uh, multiple examples in order to understand and to be figured out simply. And we have so, and we, if you have any more questions, just practice them, they are, I think, very common and very simple. And you can ask questions, no problem, and your questions are most welcome at any time. So, the last one in this slide, means therefore, since, as we said, some differences between the word and its uh, meaning and a synonym, because uh, there is no exact synonym in English, but uh, we can understand that they are similar and sometimes can be interchangeable. Here we have example for so. It was still painful, so I want to see a doctor. Okay, another example. I was very late, so I give proof as ex excuse for the debtor to accept me attending the class. I studied hard, so I solved the answer well. I did my best, so I ranked first. I stood first in my patch, and so on. This is the result. You do an action and you have the consequences. Good results or bad results. It depends on what you are doing. Okay. 
Here we have subordinating. Second slide, we have subordinating conjunctions. Subordinating conjunctions. What do we mean? What's the aim? What's the purpose? What's the description? How can we understand? Let us see here. Use subordinating conjunctions used to join an independent and complete clause with an with a dependency. Book us on. First, join an independent and complete clause with a dependent clause that relies on, that depends on, that bases on the main clause for meaning and relevance. A relation. For meaning, a relation or relevance. When it comes, it comes before the dependent clause, but the dependent clause itself can be placed either ahead of or following the independent clause. Simply, we have some examples, and we have in the slide some subordinating conjunctions. Okay, first, in the list, here we can observe that the first one is after. After and before, we use them, we use them actually as propositions and numerally that we can use them as conjunctions. We use them as propositions to show you that they can be they are propositions undoubtedly. But they are connecting words, transitional words, linking words as well. Okay, let us see. After, so after moving to London, soon after moving to London, she got a new job. So after making an action, you find something. Something is followed. Okay. I go to him or I went to him after he called me. He came to my house after I left. He called me after I closed my phone or I switched off my phone and so on. After something following, an action is followed by another action to be compounded by the other action or to be completed or sometimes to uh, be followed as we said. Although, although means what? When you make a bus party, that's something conditional may happen or may not, something difficult to be understood simply. So, hey, this for example, he decided to go, although I begged him not to. Although, it can be at the beginning also. Although, I'm very tired, I prepared, or I have to prepare the lesson, or the lecture. So, it is so difficult, I'm very tired. But, even if I'm very tired, although, I have to prepare. So something uh, has to happen as a consequence okay, of the other. Although he decided to go home, okay, or although he decided to go away, to go abroad, or to travel, I begged him not to. He decided to go. Yeah, he emphasized on his opinion that I have to go, I must go. Although he decided, I please don't go. I tried my best to force him or to oblige him or to persuade him not to go. Okay, so although, man, although he decided to go, I beg him not to go. Okay, as we explained uh, as previously, as well and so forth, but here we can have another example and another use for the same uh, conjunction and let us see. You can go first as you are the oldest. Wow. You are elder than me, so you can go first. Okay, here he's giving a respect for the person. بما أنك الأكبر بإمكانك أن تمشي أمامي. You can go first as you are the oldest. You can succeed 
as you have studied hard. I can sleep as I have finished my doing my homework. Okay. As soon as so we are talking about the time duration here. As soon as I saw her, I knew there was something wrong. So the time he observed her, he noticed that she's angry, she's sad. She is walking in uh, a way that uh, express, expresses her mood of anger and so on. So, as soon as I saw her, I realized that she is sad. We can say also. As soon as you are talking, I realized that you can speak English well. Okay. As soon as you open your eyes, you can see the lecture written and recorded in front of you. So talking about the, the quickness of duration and some observation in the relation with the first action. Okay, because here's the reason. Previously we said, for what? For, in the uh, coordinating Conjunctions, but here in the subordinating, we are subordinating the uh, statements, the previous statement or statement by the other. Here we have because. Let us see what is going on there. The example: What we can go to Julia's party, we can go to Ali's party, we can go to Fatma's party because we are going away that weekend. They are going something somewhere else, so they cannot attend her party. Okay. I can't come today to the university because I have a lot of work at home. Okay, before, before also has been taught. So here, you should always wash your hands before meals. Okay, before meal, you have to wash your hands. So in order to eat first, you have to wash your hands. Before you talk, you have to listen. Before you write, you have to read. Before you judge, you have to understand. And etc. etc. Also, we have by the time. I thought you'd be done by this time. I thought you'd be done by this time. So here we are deciding the time of being done. So it's easy here. Even if, so here's the uh, conditional expressions of the probability for doing things. Even if you apologize, she still may not forgive you. See, here we have even if, even though, uh, uh, even when, even so. These, they can be interchangeable, but not all the time. They are actually different. So here, even if, حتى لو أو مع إنك لكن في نفس الوقت هناك يحدث العكس تماما. Okay? Even if you come to me, I will not give you the answer sheets. Even if you ask him a question, he is not able to answer. Even if you study hard, the questions will be difficult enough as not to be answered. This is for uh, frustration. I don't believe it. But there are some improvising um, uh, questions or improvising statements. Okay. Even if you call the president, your problem will not be solved. This is for, for the impossibility. Impossibility. Okay. Even though 
Even though he left the school or he left the school at 16 years old, he still managed to become prime minister. So here, what we observe in the first uh, or in the previous conjunction statement, even if here we find the first is positive, but the other is negative. Not negative by using not as a negative, but there is impossibility. But here we have not the, uh, for example, the proofs or the things that can support us, but even though we can get something better. So here, so here we have even the hope and uh, as not to be despaired or frustrated. Okay. So there is no negation in this case. So we are encouraging you to do something. Even though you didn't attend any class, but you can study and you rank first. So here we are assuring you on something better. Okay. If conditional, the three are conditionals also. If she hadn't called, I wouldn't have known. This is something conditional, something impossible. Uh, particularly or uh, in this point uh, because they are taking the past. If you had come, you would have met her. So you didn't, you didn't come, so you didn't meet her. So something conditional. If you, ha if you had come, you would have met her or meet him. If you had come to the university, you would have met me and asked me your questions. But actually, you didn't. So something possible. These are conditionals. Okay. In case, bring a map in case you get lost. Okay. Bring a map in case you get lost. So, in order to rescue yourself, to survive yourself when wandering in somewhere strange, maybe you didn't know the place that you are going on or you are in the sea, and uh, for example, on a ship and traveling, and uh, there are huge waves, waves like mountainous waves, we can say, and uh, they uh, misdirect uh, you and you want to redirect yourself to that correct to the proper uh, uh, direction so you have to have a map so take the map with you for the emergency in case you lost you can use it and guide yourself without any guidance okay you will be self sufficient great now that now that i live only a few blocks from work I walk to work and enjoy it. Okay. Now that, so previously, maybe I was working, but I didn't enjoy it. And I have a lot of difficulties. But now, now that I live alone, I can study harder. This is right also. Correlative conjunctions. There are many conjunctions. But I think they are sufficient for you for this semester because of the course is bulky, is very intensive. That will be very complicated for you to understand well. Otherwise, we have in terms of, but uh, if Allah may will, next uh, lecture will complete a lot of important conjunctions as well. They are, they, we can call them advanced transitional words. They can help you even in expressing uh, your ideas, talking over different types of things, opposite uh, ideas, similar ideas for completion, for uh, expression in different ways. So for cohesion and coherence, for unity in writing as well as in speaking. And particularly they are for academic writing because when we write we have to be formal but in spoken sometimes we are not using uh, formal English so 
speaking even grammarless, no problem. You, can, you have to speak even with mistakes, no problem at all. But writing mistakes are locked down, are, they can be as snapped for you in the future and you will be asked about them. But talking, because you are improvisingly talking and expressing and trying to give new ideas and you are at the same time of talking you are thinking. Are you creating some ideas and you're calling your previous ideas? So there are a lot of new approaches or methods, and we can say also theories before that. The, in learning English for the second uh, language learners, so they have to speak first, even grammar listening, grammar listening. But we are studying these to uh, cohere for the coherence and cohesion of our ideas, even in speaking, we use such terms, they are very great and they can attract the attention of speakers. Also, we have some adverbial uh, conjunctions like basically will and so on and so forth. We will uh, uh, study them later on. Here we have just a break, and now we can start with the third type of conjunction, which is correlative conjunctions correlative conjunctions. Let us see, we have selected some examples in the list, in the list below uh, in order to know how they are correlative. They are correlative, so but we can use both of them at the time. We cannot use one and neglect the other. Both of them can be used or must be used all, all together. Okay, so to be uh, with a complete sense, to have a sentence with a complete sense meaningful as well. Here, first, we have to know something about correlative conjunctions. They are actually or simply pairs of conjunctions. They are pairs of conjunctions, two or three pairs, used in a sentence to join different words or groups of words in a sentence together. Okay? They are used to connect to join one sentence or two sentences or uh, two words, three words, or group of sentences all together and to complete each other. So one, one conjunction can complete the other. So they are pairs. So they can only be used together, not separately, to have a meaningful statement. Okay, or a meaningful statement, I'm sorry. So for example, here in the list, both and and. This house is both large and cozy. You are both smart and handsome. You have, your house is both large and beautiful. Your son is both cute and smart. So two sentences all together. We have both to study or we have both to read and write in order to understand something particularly English we have both to write or first to read and to write in order to be fluent in English we have to listen and practice speaking okay two things together can go either or, or either or okay Sometimes we, uh, some speakers may call it either, and uh, some may call it, or may utter it, or pronounce it either. Either or. Either you, you will eat your dinner or you will go to bed. Either you study hard, as we said previously, in the coordinating conjunctions. Either you study hard or you're going to fail. So here, the second, just as, those and so. Just as I love films, so does my brother love sports. Something else. Just as I work hard at home, so my friends or my colleagues work hard at the university. Just as I sleep early, so my classmates sleep late. They are spending the, light, the night reading, studying, uh, doing a lot of things to get up 
themselves or to improve their English, we can say. Neither a nor. He is neither employed nor looking for a job. Very lazy person. You are neither coming to the university nor you are connecting your teachers to help you. You are neither attending classes nor studying at home. So, what will be the result? What will be the consequences? The aftermath? Failure. We're so sorry that will not happen and we hope not to happen with you. Not only, but also. Not only will I see your $20, but also raise you $30. Not only another example. I not only study at home, but also I go to some institutes to improve my English. I do, uh, I not only listen, I also speak. They are not only students, they are also, but they are also teachers at some institutes. Okay. Whether or, I'm going to help you whether you like it or not. Okay, we are going to... Coming you one choice, you have to choose it. Either you like or not. Whether you like or not. Whether he comes to me or not, I'm going to help him. Whether he calls me or not, I'm going to help him. Whether they give me money or not, I'm going to teach my student. For example. No sooner than I I no sooner lie to you than strangle a puppy. Here we have another example. No sooner and then he said I had no sooner lie to you than strangle a puppy. Here is the I don't lie to you at all. No sooner, no later. Sooner or later. I don't tell lie uh, or on you or to you. Okay. Hardly when. I had hardly sit down for dinner when the phone rang. I had hardly sleep. I had hardly sleep. Slept, I mean, I'm so sorry. I had hardly slept when he told me the news. I had hardly watched the movie when I was informed about the time of exam. Okay. If and then. If that is the case, then I'm not surprised about what is happening. If that is the case, then. So, if it is like this, then. So, I'll do so and so. If that is the case, if that is your answer, then you have to succeed. If that is your brother, then I have to support you. Okay. Rather than. She'd rather play the drums than sing. She had rather play the drums. I mean, she would rather play the drums than sing. So... I can, another example, I can rather play football than hockey or than badminton or tennis or something like this. I would rather play football than tennis. Okay, because here he's talking about drumming. Okay, here let us see the in general idea because we have given you some glimpses about conjunctions, first coordinating conjunctions, and then subordinating conjunctions, the last correlative conjunctions, and we understand that. We use coordinating conjunctions first to remind you. We use 
coordinate conjunctions to link or to join to words or phrases that are equally they are equal they are equally they are equal okay equally important and complete in terms of grammar when compared with each other okay subordinating conjunctions used to join an independent and complete clause with a dependent clause that relies on the main clause for meaning and relation or relevance third correlative conjunctions they are pairs of conjunctions used in a sentence to join different words or groups of words in a sentence together so here <clears throat> you can take it simple when we want to join to ideas or to nouns or to adjectives in the sentence we have to use for example an Ali and Ahmed go to school okay here both of them have to go to school but when I say Ali or Ahmed goes to school either one one of them can go to school okay so we are distinguishing even our thought our talking we are making clear everything we cannot use broken sentences Ali can go Ahmed cannot or Ali can go to school Ahmed can go to school you can say Ali and Ahmed can go to school this is simply and making our English uh, very uh, simple and very uh, fascinating and interesting okay also we have in the subordinating and correlative conjunctions we have uh, some uh, pairs of conjunctions like uh, neither nor we want to uh, express or uh, explain what you want to say about uh, towards things for example uh, I, held, I hate both the things he told me okay come with me or stay at home I can uh, and I don't want both the ways or both the choices I can tell him okay uh, I can neither go with you nor staying at home but I'll go to meet my friends or I'll go for my friends party you can say like this also we have even though even though even if if uh, these are conditionals when I say uh, for example even if even if you study hard oh, oh I'm so sorry I don't want to give such uh, uh, frustrating uh, examples even if you uh, even if I uh, teach you I will not get my salary due to the conditions all over our country not due to some political conditions as they can say I uh, but even though even though I didn't teach you I can get some money even though I don't teach you I can get some money from the university okay here you can review the video focus only on these uh, conjunctions and next lecture will give you some more conjunctions with examples and detailed explanation so uh, follow us lecture by lecture and don't worry uh, here we have a, a video I prepared but the system cannot support it so that uh, you will find it in the ppt folder uh, file i mean so uh, you can even listen to it it is beneficial and you can go to, through the internet if you don't understand well or you can ask me to repeat the lesson no problem with me at all at any time you're welcome here we have the last slide which is about questioning he who asks is a fool for five minutes only but he who doesn't ask remains a fool forever. So ask questions. Why? Because when you ask, maybe uh, the person you have been uh, or you, you have been asking him or her uh, may wait for five, five minutes, and you are feeling that you do something foolish or something not good, or you're confused, or you are waiting for something you know imagined, something. Uh, out of your uh, understanding or beyond your mind so for five minutes only then your uh, question will be answered either correctly or incorrectly but it is five minute time period 
But when you didn't answer, when you didn't ask a question, you will remain full once and forever. So the idea you didn't understand from the beginning and you didn't ask for will be. Uh,